possibly have in common with veterans returning from combat? Turns out they can be birds of a feather, as Tracy Smith now shows us. You can hear the place before you ever see it. In a lonely corner of Los Angeles is a home for dozens of parents, many of them neglected, abandoned, abused. Hello! The people who care for these birds know something about trauma themselves. Most are veterans who still carry the emotional baggage of war. Come on. But in this tiny haven of wounded birds and troubled humans, there's a connection that's hard to miss. Mike Flanagan served a combat tour in Vietnam. That's your favorite in the morning? He also served 22 years in prison for armed robbery. Zoe is an African Grey, but to Mike, she's more than just a breakfast date. If you'd have told me five years ago that I'd be sitting at a table with a pet bird, I'd have told you you're out of your mind. She adopted me three days after I got here. She adopted you? Oh, yeah. What is this relationship between the two of you? I think she immediately saw something in me that I needed, you know? She makes me feel like I'm important to her. I can't explain it because I don't know enough about parents or birds or anything, but it's just a great feeling. It's called Serenity Park. Zoe and three dozen other birds are part of an animal therapy program that pairs them with vets suffering from PTSD. The veterans say that somehow the parents can connect with them in a way that no human therapist ever could. That's my girl. How do you feel when you come to this place? This is like coming back to home for me. It's like Lily Love is a former Coast Guard rescue swimmer who lost nearly all of her buddies in a chopper crash. Here's my boy, you went up. Since then, she's battled depression and drug abuse, came out as transgender, and spent a lot of time in therapy. Let's see your big wings. Up, up. Nothing worked until she started coming here. I like these birds better than people, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but if you, you joke about that, but you get along pretty well with people, and that's uh -huh. because of the birds, you think, in part? Definitely. They taught me patience. They taught me trust. They taught me all about how you can be happy and playful even in the midst of pain. You still have the pain? I'll probably never leave, but it's okay. So, tell me about these guys. So this is an amazing story. This place was all her idea. Psychologist Lauren Linder used to take veterans she was working with to another parrot sanctuary she ran north of L.A. and was surprised at how well parrots and vets got along. And all of a sudden I see this transformation come over them. They'd be holding the birds in their arms and calling them sweet terms. And I haven't seen that in the group therapy I've been doing with them. So 10 years ago, Linder got the VA Medical Center to give her enough land to set up a few bird cages. And with a budget based solely on donations, Serenity Park was born. There's no hard scientific evidence to explain why parrots seem to help people suffering from PTSD. The thinking is that the traumatized birds and the traumatized vets share a common bond that somehow seems to soothe their souls. Hi, cutie. Hello. 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 Lucky 